First breaking news in Tallahassee. State senators now voting on bills linked to banning vaccine mandates. They just passed one of them. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Three bills are now still up for a vote. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is following the breaking developments from Tallahassee tonight. So, Mike, what's the latest? Well, that's right, Lisa. One of the four bills that's been under consideration across the hall in the Senate was just voted on and it was approved. That exact same legislation was passed by the House earlier today. Could have a big impact on Floridians. Now we know at least that one bill is on its way to the governor's desk. Standing here against mandates does not mean we are against masks or against vaccines. Republicans in the Florida House have successfully passed four bills after making the case against COVID-19 vaccine mandates. It protects our freedoms, protects our rights, and protects our choice. One of the bills would prohibit government employees from losing their jobs if they refuse to get a shot. Private businesses can mandate vaccines, but must also allow religious or medical exemptions and must provide employees with regular testing or PPE in lieu of vaccination. Employees previously infected with COVID-19 would also be exempt. You do not have the freedom to harm others. Democrats say the bill punishes small businesses with big fines for simply trying to protect workers and customers while putting other Floridians at risk. That the most effective tool we have, which is vaccines, are going to be used less often. So that bill that everyone was just discussing that really focuses on vaccine mandates that has passed the House. It just passed the Senate. Now it's on its way to the governor's office. Meanwhile, the Senate is considering three additional bills, a little bit more minor in scope involving public records, involving this proposal to maybe someday withdraw Florida from OSHA regulations and also to ban the state from ever being able to force vaccinations during a health emergency. Those are being considered now. We'll keep you up to date at seven o'clock if uh, there are any developments. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Mike DeForest, News 6. Back to you.